All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out here? Listen, this is a good business move. Let's make it clear. Like, I'm not trying to issue on Future. I'm not trying to issue on Nicki Minaj. This is what you're supposed to do when you're trying to get a tour off the ground. Future and Nicki are expected to go on this Nicki Hendrix tour that starts September 21st, all right? Um, we obviously know these are two big time talents, but there are some pitfalls in this tour. Now, Nicki Minaj, last time she went out on a tour was the Meek, it was with Meek, Ray Shrummit, and Dave's Loaf, right? Those were some of the big acts on this on the tour. Remember, Nicki and Meek's relationship was hot as hell at the time, right? Ray Shrummit was hot as hell at the time. Dave's Loaf was hot as hell at the time. That tour was carried by Nicki, Meek, and um, Ray Shrummit, right? So, so that's what three, four years ago, right? Nikki was in a much better space musically then than she is now. Now, now Future, remember, Future did the tour with the Migos. Remember, ASAP Ferg did some dates on that bad boy. Kodak Black uh, was expected to do some dates, but again, you know, he had legal issues at the time. Tory Lanez was on that tour. That was about a year and a half, two years ago, right? About a year, two years ago, he did the tour where they did it good they didn't do great it wasn't sell out every spot i was told that it wasn't sell out every spot but the tour did good right it was, it was good money but to say that future was just the headliner look it was future migos tory young thug asap it's pretty much everybody holding their own way bringing their own different graphic to the demographic to the tour now other than that future was a guy who was co-headlining with on drake's tour right the summer 16 tour We've never seen Future try to do what he's trying to do now. He, Drake is as big an entity we have in rap. Drake probably carried 80% of that Summer 16 tour Future, right? Future is expected to hold 50% of the weight with Nicki right now. It's a 50-50 tour. That's, that's how they set this bad boy up. That's very difficult. When they're, they're doing arenas, ladies and gentlemen, it's very difficult. Nikki has a huge, obviously we know Nikki's a huge brand, but unless you're that core fan that has to get out and see Nicki Minaj, because the music isn't where it once was, you know, to get that fan that's a fan, but you know, wants to go see a really great up-to-date show who has the, you know, somebody who might've seen Nikki perform three, four years ago, whenever that tour was with Meek, you know, that, the Peep Pre tour, that fan is like, yo, Nikki ain't really dropped a lot of classic material that I feel like I need to go see her perform again. You know what I mean? So Nikki, again, not as hot as she was. Future, though he's dropped uh, the new mixtape, Beast Mode 2, a lot of people are like, yo, I don't feel the need to necessarily have to go see Future again right now. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, yo, what the hell are you talking about, Telefero? Beast Mode 2 is a hot tape. It's a good tape. I like it my darn self. But remember, when Future got crazy hot, a few in 2015 remember it wasn't because he dropped one tape he had dropped like three four tapes then the joint album with drake and remember he also had his ds2 album out that year as well it was a combination of things it wasn't because future dropped one tape it was because future was consistently feeding the streets so with all that being said nikki and future reportedly and then this is a source that i trust they're not selling tickets as expected they've had to switch the whole area. again this is good business this is what you're supposed to do when you're not able to do it on your own they've had to make some phone calls they've added three more artists to the tour the first artist that they've announced is takashi 69 now at the bare minimum we know takashi 69 has a draw with the kids this is going to help that tour uh substantially takashi can't do a lot of dates in clubs right now obviously he can't go do an arena by himself right so but you put takashi as one of the headliners which was announced today that's a great space for him to be in now he's able to bring out that kid fan base that teenager fan base that white fan base he's going to bring that out because a lot of people don't get to see him perform that often he just did an overseas tour that was really really well right but in the in the in the states because of his name and because of the trouble that's come with him it's going to be tough to book him for nightclubs around the country but he has a crap ton of fans he's one of the biggest i'm telling the truth he's one of the biggest young artists in the country right now 
I don't know how they were able to get him cleared with some of the legal stuff that he's been involved in. But the fact that Future and Nikki got Takashi 69 cleared, a huge win for them. And obviously, Nikki and, and company felt comfortable making this announcement first because they have currently the number one record on iTunes right now. Nicki Minaj and Takashi 69, that Fifi record, which I think is a fire ass record. I'm telling y'all that. I ain't never liked the Takashi record a day in my life. But that Fifi record is hard, bruh. So again, two more artists are expected to be announced before Future and Nikki go on tour. I'm telling you this though, they're gonna have to pick up the ticket sales quite a bit for this tour to happen. So Takashi's good, good and all, but the, the other two names are gonna have to be big. And also, Nikki's album drops in two weeks, two and a half weeks, August 10th. That album is gonna have to carry some weight. And Future has an album dropping before the tour. I believe his dropping the top of September. End of August, top of September. So they're gonna have to really pick this thing up in order to sell some tickets for this tour. The first step in doing that is by announcing three more artists will be on the tour, starting with Takashi 69 with the other names to come soon. Keep you guys up to date. Thank y'all for the time. Let's put out, don't take it for granted. Yo, does this help the tour? Well, uh, the fact that Nikki and Future announced that Takashi will be on a stage with them as well. Talk to me, I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities, I talk sports, I still represent the culture. I got the kids, they who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.